Here's Alex Okafor. He's going against Howie Long's son from Oregon here from the Senior Bowl. He's going to come off with his pass rush move. He's going to put that right hand right in the middle, and that's beautiful because Long can't get his left hand on him. So now all he has to worry about is that right hand, which he knocks down with his left and then rips on by. And that's his money move. That's his go-to move, and it works every time. But other than that, he doesn't have anything. So here, he's going to come off. He's going to try and just use no technique but power and just shove Wagner by. And Wagner's too strong, locks him right up. Now he eventually gets his left hand off of him and gets by. That's the key is if you can get those linemen's hands off of you, if you can control their hands, they've got nothing. Here he's going against a real good tackle in Fisher. And he throws his right hand and Fisher waits, throws his hand second, and then... He ends up locking Ogafork down. And Fisher's real patient. You know, he'll wait. He waits until that lineman throws his, his hands, and then, he, and then he throws his. Here he's going to use that, the, his, his money move again. Puts that right hand right on the midline and rips on through. Gets his left hand off of him. Here he throws his hands first, and Fisher locks him up again. same play here's another one he's got his bag of tricks he actually has two moves that I think work pretty well first he just comes off and gets your head up and lets you throw your hands and grabs both your hands and knocks them down and he's gonna do that here again this next one comes off though he's gonna give him a, a move to the right a move to the left and then go back to his right and then fight those hands out of the way and rip on through now here he makes a slight mistake and he steps too wide with his right foot and gives that lineman time to recover and kind of dive out in front of him, which slows him down a little bit. If he could just cut that foot in a little bit tighter, he'd been that much faster. Here he's from, from the outside. He's going to give him a spin move here, and so he hacks that lineman's right arm. Now to me, he should be hacking that left arm. Because he ends up turning right into that left arm. And even though that lineman is off balance, and the lineman kind of catches him again. And I'm going to show you a video later where the lineman, the D lineman comes off and hacks the left arm and spins to the lineman's left, the offensive lineman's left. And it works beautifully. To me, here he just tricks him. You know, he lines up way to the center's right. So the center's going to snap it and jump to his right. But while he's in midair, that guy just runs back to the left, knocks the center's hand down, and runs in. Now this one's a little more honest. He's going to come here, he's going to grab Long's left hand, and then he's going to spin, which he had him on the spin, but he fell down. And then, and then he can't get Long's hands off of him. Here's Aaron Donald. This is just another example of not letting that lineman touch. He's on the right side. He's coming here in slow motion at the end. That guard, he just knocks his hands down and turns his back to him. Now the guard shoves him in the back, which probably just speeds him up. Kind of like this one. He's going to grab his left arm there, and he's going to twist his shoulders and pull himself by. You know, so even... Even though he gets locked up right off the bat, he catches that guy's right or his left arm and he turns his shoulders to get skin. Here's a list of moves. I thought this was kind of fun just to look at. I'll send you the, I got all these videos from the internet and so I'll send you those videos. It's just from the Senior Bowl 2013. And those are the, that's a list in order. You probably do all those things, just a little something you can add to your repertoire. Josh, it's been really fun for me just to get to watch those clips. I mean, it's a 45-minute video that I, I watched on D-line one-on-ones. And what I'm seeing is it's so much like fighting. I am a, you know, I love watching my MMA fight videos. I buy all the DVDs. I read all the books about Jeet Kune Do and Bruce Lee's techniques. You know, Bruce Lee knew how to throw a non-telegraph punch, a punch that you couldn't see coming. And 
and he had all these strategies that he got for that and it was really it was really neat getting to see those things but that's the same thing that uh, happens with linemen and D linemen is it's all about hand trapping you know that's a technique that they that you use where when someone throws a punch you parry that punch you knock that punch to the inside of their body you don't want to knock it down or to the outside but you knock it to the inside of their body so it's harder for them to bring that hand back uh, if you control the hands you you can't get struck and it's the same thing in in playing defensive line you know it's about two things really it's about controlling the hands and getting that lineman off balance and that's really fun just getting to see those different techniques and the crossover from that Josh I know you're always looking for ways to get better and I think a, an awesome way to get better would just be to train yourself uh, and if you're interested in doing some cross training uh, find maybe a, a gym where you can do boxing or kickboxing at least bang on a punching bag learn a little bit of that sweet science of boxing or MMA or hand trapping parrying the punch all those things uh, are perfect crossovers Josh and I think those those things could can help you there's you know so much that can help you let me know what I can do to help you Josh I'm on your team so uh, I'll be here uh, love you.